subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello friends this is vijay bambwani i'm back with you to discuss about a very critical aspect of the market on 11th november 2021 i recorded a video uh, uh, asking you whether you are deciding to quit your job to take up trading and whether this is a very wise or an unwise step with the why behind what i was saying the fact that you are watching this video which is actually a follow up video to that 11th november video itself means that you probably decided to trade for a living and in this video i'm going to share my two pennies my thoughts on what you will need to get there friends i told you in my previous video that trading profits are the most difficult easy money you will ever make i really stand by what i said all right now john rambo in the last of uh, the lambo rambo franchise movies said what we do categorizes us but how we do it defines us i'm very sure you want to achieve the best possible results in your trades and you want to achieve sterling success so here goes let me share what i think from my point of view are the qualities that you will need to succeed as a superlative trader the number one quality that you'll have to have is discipline if discipline is gone believe me your chances of success are way down low all right discipline does not mean getting up at the same time every morning switching on your computer and starting to trade from the very first minute of the market discipline can also mean not trading just because the markets are either not conducive enough your trade setup has not identified any trades or the markets are too volatile and therefore too hostile to day traders you will not believe this but on my own personal prop book i've gone for weeks sometimes during very very tumultuous markets i've gone for weeks without putting in a trade but discipline means that even though i may not be able to get a trade because the risk reward ratio and the payoffs were not all that great i was still sitting with my eyes dug on to my computer screen now to keep going in spite of not getting a trade will demand absolute amount of discipline from you remember in personal life there is a saying a broken engagement is better than a broken marriage here in trading if you have to play cautiously which in these markets especially the present ones that you are seeing right now it is better to forego a very high risk trade even though it might get you a small probability of success then it is better to forego that kind of a trade than to risk losing capital because if you lose 10% of your capital say five times you're going to wind up losing 50% of your capital and from there just to get to ground zero you'll have to make 100% on the remaining 50% capital just to get back to where you had started so discipline is something you'll need to adhere to you can't trade just because i'm bored i'm not done anything for 3 4 5 days let's trade today this is not a game number 2 patience this of course is again very critical there will be times when you'll suffer losses your job as a trader of course is to limit those losses but there will be a string of losses it's not just your fault sometimes the markets are choppy patience means that you basically keep going in spite of the fact that the markets are basically a little hostile of course you'll cut back your exposure you'll resort to uh, a financial risk management but you cannot give up halfway through that's not what you are here for number 3 hard work the only guys who think traders don't work 
hard are the non-traders. Believe me, I have a lot of friends and I've experienced it myself. A lot of times my friends tell me, uh, uh, you know, after being married for uh, a couple of decades, we do tend to have uh, 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 arguments, not necessarily hostile ones, but just plain arguments. So a lot of my friends tell me and I've experienced it myself. When husband and wife fights, where the husband is a trader, the wife says, you do nothing except sit in front of a computer all day long with your uh, uh, legs up on an easy chair and you're just doodling and uh, uh, pressing a few buttons on your keyboard and making money. You're not working hard. I'm the one who's actually working hard in the kitchen. Believe me, nothing is further than the truth. While others are partying, you might be working long hours. Remember, the commodity markets in India work for 15 hours from 9 a.m. to midnight. No breaks. No tea break, no lunch break, no evening high tea break or whatever. And then you'll want to read up uh, uh, some uh, research material. You might want to update yourself with the news. You might want to check, check about uh, what the overseas markets have done. So I can tell you from personal experience, it's a 18 hours a day grind. Choose wisely before quitting your job as to whether you can take it. A lot of times, a lot of people want to quit because the work pressure is just too much. If you think you're sitting back in an easy chair and pressing a few clicks uh, uh, on your keyboard or on your mouse and it's going to rain money on you, think again. A cool head. Now this is not very easy to get. And especially if you've been trading for a number of years, uh, uh, a cool head is not something that comes very easily, but it's of paramount importance. There's an old saying in uh, the trading community, you're not actually trading against the market, you're trading against you. The market doesn't know you exist. You're basically trading against your greed, your fear, your biases, your mental demons and your prejudices. Oh, this stock is unlucky for me. This stock is very lucky for me, etc, etc. So a cool head is what is very much needed, especially, especially when the trade is bleeding, it's going against you and you're seeing your mark to market losses rise in front of you on the screen during market hours. Now, stress I cannot emphasize enough is the number one enemy of a trader. Do you know that trading impacts not just the mind, but also the body of a trader? Let me tell you how. Trading basically is a very high adrenaline game. Adrenaline is basically uh, uh, the chemical in your body that is responsible for fight or flight uh, behavior in an individual. A timid person will run away from an adverse situation. A very aggressive person will tend to fight back. Now, what makes a person either run away from a situation or stick your heel, grind your heels into the ground and fight back? It's the adrenaline gland which secretes this uh, adrenaline uh, chemical. Now, <clears throat> because trading is so uh, so much of a nervous activity. In addition to adrenaline, you're basically uh, going to see your body releasing cortisol. Now, cortisol is again another chemical, which is a natural process to get released whenever you're stressed out. But do you know the long-term impact of excess cortisol release in your body? Let me tell you what happens. You will get a puffy, a very uh, uh, disproportionately large face. You will uh, basically get a, a expanding waistline, a puffy and a, a saggy chest. You will get high blood pressure. You will suffer from attacks of insomnia or lack of sleep. You will have mood swings. You might feel depressed in one moment, short tempered, angry and aggressive the next moment. You might feel frustration. Your skin will get patchy. It will get rough. You might develop dry and cracked skin. There might be some purple patches on your skin. 
Believe me, this is stress from trading manifesting itself on your physical body. If you think it's just a mental uh, impact of trading, it's not. All right. So if you're unable to handle stress by being a cool headed guy, these are side effects of excess cortisol released in the body over a period of years. And the list is not over yet. Over a period of time, excess cortisol release also triggers osteosporosis or making the bones porous. In extreme cases, I've seen people who get up from a chair and fracture their uh, uh, thigh bone, right? You'll get muscular weaknesses and you'll basically have tamper tantrums. I have an admission to make here. Although you'll see no puffiness in my cheeks and uh, 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 kind of a bloated uh, uh, look on my stomach or chest, but years and years of trading has made me extremely short tempered and my language is colored. I'm working on it, but this is something that you will go through if you're going to be working 18 hours a day, five days a week and the remaining two days a week, you're sharpening your tools, you're watching the charts, you're adjusting your studies, your trend lines, your moving averages, your Fibonacci, your Elliott wave counts and whatnot. So are you able to cope up with this kind of stress? Can you still keep a cool head after going through all this? If yes, go ahead and start uh, uh, planning on becoming a trader. Now the mindset is extremely important for a trader because it is a mindset that will carry you forward during times of distress. And like I said, since you have to be working for long hours, it's not just the mind, but it is also the body, both that must be robust in a trader. You can't be a feeble bodied person or a person with a weak constitution and become a good superlative trader. The mind and body must both work in harmony. Now, you must be honest with yourself and ask yourself some questions that will determine whether you're cut out for trading or not. If you're somebody who's timid natured, who gets scared very easily or gets upset very quickly, then chances are you will wind up surrendering your trades fairly frequently. Your profits will be small. Your losses will be bigger. Profits will be few and far between and losses may be relatively more frequent. On the other hand, if you're inclined to think logically and you're relaxed natured, you will see through rough patches easily and get through the teething phase of your career as a full-time trader. Pass easily and faster. So what you are basically required to do is work on yourself, mold yourself, discover yourself and like Rambo said, define yourself. If you are up to it, if you can reinvent, reorient and reprogram yourself, I think nothing can stop you from succeeding as a full-time trader. On this optimistic note, I'll say goodbye to you in this video, not before reminding you to click like on this video if you agree with what you saw, if you liked what you saw. Click on the bell icon to receive instant alerts about fresh videos being put up out here. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Good, bad or ugly, your feedback is always welcome. And help me reach out to fellow like-minded investors and traders by referring my video to your family and friends. I thank you for your patience and watching my video till we meet again in my next. This is Vijay Bambwani signing off for now. Have a very, very profitable day. Bye-bye. Our new research uncovers some shocking truths behind today's hottest investment opportunity, electric vehicles. Don't invest your money in EV stocks before seeing our research. Click here to sign up for our special event to know it all for free.